How to fix error 0x800700 CB, Windows Sandbox failed to initialize. In this video I will show you few solution to fix the problem. Windows Sandbox relies on specific virtualization components, such as Hyper-V. If these components are disabled, the Sandbox will not function properly. Re-enabling them ensures that Windows has the necessary tools to run the Sandbox environment, restoring its functionality. Find Hyper-V from the list and unmark the checkbox. Next, scroll down to find Windows Sandbox and unmark the checkbox. Click OK and restart your computer. After a reboot, open Windows Features again and enable these components once more. If that didn't work, Windows provides built in troubleshooters to detect and fix common problems. Try the following Copy and paste the command that you will find in the description of this video. Services are background processes that Windows relies on for various functionalities. Some services are specifically related to Windows Sandbox and must be running for it to function. If these services are stopped or disabled, enabling them again ensures that Windows Sandbox has the necessary support to run. Scroll down to find Hyper-V Remote Desktop Virtualization Service and double-click it. Under the Startup type, Select Automatic in the drop-down menu. Click Start, Apply, and OK. Pick the time before the problem occurred and click Next. Your computer will reboot.